Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an Azustar NAS. This is the AS3204T. It's got four bays that you can put hard drives in. I'm using four six terabyte Western Digital Red drives. And it has two gig gigabytes of RAM and it has a quad core processor. Now that may not seem a lot uh, when it comes to you know sizing up a computer specs. Uh, but this is a NAS, and NASs run differently. Uh, they're meant to hold storage, they're meant to serve uh, particular uh, functions uh, with low power. And when you got good firmware like Zustor has, uh, with no bloatware and no uh, unnecessary things, um, you're going to have a very efficient and very powerful uh, NAS unit. So I have the four drives in the NAS, it's plugged into my airport extreme uh, via the ethernet cable and we have it powered up turned on and now I'm going to show you the next couple of steps now there is some software you can download for your uh, PC uh, but basically you use a browser to set this up I'm using the Safari browser you can also download the suite of apps uh, that I have here on my iPhone there's an app called AI master and you can pretty much set up your NAS with just using that app you really don't even need a PC, um, but you know it's just a little bit more uh, fun. So we're going to show you both ways, pretty much. Now this is not the first NAS I had. I had the I have the AS uh, 304T, and I bought that two years ago. I've been using it for the last two years, so I have a lot of experience. I did a lot of videos on that. You can check them out in the descriptions or up in the cards. Um, you can check out those videos. But we're going to start with this whole new series. Uh, I made a video yesterday about the hardware and I showed you around the hardware uh, but today we're going to be setting up uh, using the ADM that's their uh, interface that they use so when you have this all plugged in your all your hardware plugged in all your drives in it shows up in your network so on the uh, in the box they come it comes with a CD and most computers don't have CDs anymore so uh, the instruction booklet pretty much tells you to go to start.azustore.com and that's where we are on this page here so basically you're going to choose your product uh, I have the AS3204 so I'm going to pick the uh, 3 series and it basically it tells you uh, what uh, drives that you can use with this uh, my drives are compatible uh, basically start it push it in start you know installing your drives and then you can download a, a control center now they have it for Windows and they have it for Mac uh, you basically click the button here and you download uh, the uh, control center so this is the control center here and it pops up after I you know you download it you install it it pops up and it shows both of my NAS my one from two years ago and also my new NAS now this thing will pop up here it's a, saying that it's not configured yet let's just hit cancel for a second and if we go to the AS3204 you're gonna see under here uninitialized so I didn't set it with RAID I didn't you know uh, set up the software put all my credentials in I didn't do any of that you not even connect it really to the internet that's why we're using the Ethernet cable so we'll go back to this for in one second now you can also download the apps and like I said uh, you can initialize uh, your your zoo store uh, NAS with the app so you can after you're all said and done you can go and check out the installation guides that you can join the community and you have some customer care and all that stuff so let's now get started we don't need the browser right this second so we have our software here and we also have the AI master so AI master uh, shows just like this and if you click the plus sign here you're gonna see auto discovery so since you're on the same Wi-Fi with your mobile phone and your Mac uh, it's going to discover, it's going to discover, well, maybe I should put the correct Wi-Fi. Let's see. Uh, it shows my old NAS. Uh, let me make sure I'm on the right Wi-Fi. I think uh, I, I'm not. So I'm going to click on Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm on my VPN uh, router. That's my uh, VPN router so that, you know, when I go online, I'm anonymous. So now we're connected to the right uh, Wi-Fi, and I'm going to open up AI Master here. So we hit the plus sign here, and we do auto discovery, and you're going to see now 
that the server list and one is not initialized. That's the newest one that we have here. And you could see on the software on the control center that it's not initialized. So you can click this gear right over here and you're going to open up a web browser page. And basically it's going to walk you through all the steps. Now, if I opened up it here like this, uh, we're going to, I'm sorry. Now, if I opened it up here on my mobile phone, you're going to see here that it says start initialization. We're not going to use the mobile phone. I'm going to show you the how to do it on the Mac. So you have a one click setup where it will automatically choose an IP. Now, every time you install a new product, a new Wi-Fi product in your home, uh, an IP address is assigned to it automatically. But I'm going to do a custom setup because I want to show you a little bit more about the steps. So my zoo store is called, you know, what it's called right out of the box. And we're going to put in our password. So um, the automatic username is admin, okay? We just have to put a password in. So I'm going to use a complex password. And we're going to repeat that. And now we'll jump to the next step. So it's set in the password. We've got a time zone here. I'm going to set mine to Eastern. And I'm going to use the same as the computer. Or you can sync it with the NTP server. Uh, I'm going to go North America. And we're synced. So now it will look up uh, your time zone and your clock and everything. And have it the you know set the right way. Uh, including with daylight savings time. So network uh, interface, we have a LAN one. I mean, I'm connected by wire to it. And later on, I'm going to show you how to connect it uh, with a Wi-Fi dongle. So if you have your NAS and you want it on your desktop and it's far away from your, uh, your, your Wi-Fi router, you can use a dongle. And uh, I'll show you that. So um, we're going to have it obtain an IP address. That's the IP address that it's going to be assigned as part of your network. Now, I have a whole bunch of devices, Apple TVs, things like that, um, and mobile phones and everything. And it always... Uh, gets the IP address for it. So you could set up primary and secondary DNS, but we're not going to do that. We'll just pop right over and go to the next step. So um, right now I have the four drives in. They're six terabytes. They're really actually 5.46 terabytes. And I'm going to select all of the drives because I'm going to use every single one of these drives. I'm going to confirm and I'm going to set it to RAID 5. Now, there are different rates. If you set it to RAID 0, you're going to use all 24 terabytes for storage. I set it as RAID 5. So basically what it does, it takes away like a terabyte uh, and a half of, of uh, storage on each uh, drive and sets that as a parity, a backup. Okay. So if one of the drives fails, you're allowed to have one of the, of the four drives fail. You can uh, recover by putting in the new drive and it will rebuild and you won't lose any data okay so whatever drives you choose to put in there make sure you back them up or you wipe them and you know they're, they're going to be uh, you know gone any information on there are going to be gone so we're i have some empty these drives are used but they're empty so i'm going to step on the next step here oh i'm sorry i gotta hit this again so RAID 5, and I'm using all of this. So here we go. I'm going to go to the next step. So what it's going to do now, it's going to run through a process. This can be quite lengthy, uh, depending on what you have. Um, the drives are being formatted to EXT4. Uh, that's just a, a format, just like with Mac. You have uh, OS ext uh, OX, uh, Extended Journal. Uh, and then like Windows, you would have FAT32 or whatever. But the NAS uses the EXT. So it's going to be 11%. It's going to go through all of these steps here. And then when it's done, it's going to say, congratulations, you're ready to use your NAS. And then we're going to go over the ADM. And I'm going to show you all the great things that you can do with the Exustar. Um, it's pretty amazing. Um, you don't have to have your PC running if you have a large music or movie collection. Uh, basically, the NAS is meant to stay running, stay you know, uh, efficient, and make sure that it serves you uh, whenever you need whatever media or data that you have. Uh, there are other apps like the AI data. I'll show you on my older NAS that I have. Uh, have it configured and you pretty much click into it and you can access all your folders. I have my media, my music, my pictures, my storage, uh, storing different things like software and stuff like that. 
and then I have the Plex server on on this and uh, it looks into that home folder into the media folder and it serves up throughout my entire house and outside of my house because I'm using Plex but they also have a lot of great video a lot of great video and audio apps that you can use you pretty much go into their app store uh, their um, and you download different components or different apps and then you can use the apps here to access them inside and outside of your home it's you know a great thing um, you know you leave your computer for other things and you know you have the NAS running it stores a lot of data and it you know just works great so let's let this finish and then we'll go back to the ADM <clears throat> All right, so we've started up now, and basically says uh, this is my first Zoo Store product, but I already have a uh, an ID uh, that I set up. But we could set it up, you know, as new. And basically, all they're telling you is to put in an email. So I'm going to put in my email that I'm going to be using for this NAS, and then I'm going to put in a password. Okay, and then I'm going to hit the next button. So it already knows who I am uh, because I've done it in the past. And we have United States, and we can use this for home or office. Now this is great for home or office. Uh, it's got everything you need. Uh, you can do time machine backups. You can do an iTunes uh, server, all kinds of things. So I'm just going to put it as home, and I would like to receive uh, emails from a zoo store. So we pretty much go to the next step and we're ready to go. We're going to hit save and we're open with the ADM. That's their browser based um, GUI. Okay. So we have a start here. We can, you know, click start. It tells you pretty much, you know, what, what, what's going on and, and the first steps, but we're going to just skip right over that and we'll go on to it. So now you have the basic apps here. We haven't downloaded any apps. We haven't done anything. All right, so I think we're going to end the video here for the initialization of your NAS. The next step, we're going to go over the ADM. We're going to show you all these apps, and we're going to configure this NAS so that you can access it outside of your home, inside your home. You can use it as a server, and all the different functions of all of these apps and all the great things that this Zoo Store can do. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on that next video.